said she knows there are hundreds of thousands of similar stories about Graham. Reverend Graham died February 21st at age 99 at his mountain home in Western North Carolina. His body will be at the U.S. Capitol in Washington to lie in honor Wednesday and Thursday before it is returned to Charlotte for Friday's invitation only funeral. Former President George W. Bush and his wife Laura plan to be there Monday because they had a scheduling conflict. President Donald Trump is scheduled to attend the funeral. And on kind of a sad note, in a shocking policy announcement, Walgreens has now directed its stores to allow men full and unrestricted access to women's restrooms in all of its 8,100 stores. Walgreens has confirmed their new bathroom policy in a phone conversation, which was recorded by One Million Moms organization. They now join targets in letting men into women's restrooms. And on a final note, which in a way is uh, faith-based, human trafficking has no place in our nation. Faith and freedom has worked diligently alongside members of the U.S. House and Senate on legislation to empower law enforcement to effectively combat online sex trafficking hubs that profit from and provide safe haven for modern day slave traders. Now the time has come for members of the faith community to step up and support efforts to stop child sex traffickers. Human trafficking is the fastest growing organized crime activity in the United States, making around $32 billion a year for criminals while destroying the lives of hundreds of thousands of people. Currently, there are at least 105,000 children in America that are victims of human trafficking. In 2014, 70% of child sex trafficking victims were sold online. Tomorrow, the House is scheduled to vote on the Allow States and Victims to Fight Online Sex Trafficking Act of 2017, which will give the states and victims the power to sue websites that facilitate human trafficking and provides law enforcement with the necessary tools to fight these predators who buy and sell children for sex. Please call your member of Congress and urge them to vote yes on the Allow States and Victims to Fight Online Sex Trafficking Act to shine a light on the marketplaces that contribute to the growing epidemic of sex trafficking in the United States and protect our most vulnerable citizens who are caught up in the online sex trade. And on to some of our veterans news. According to a February 7th Channel 13 Hampton Roads Virginia report by Laura Geller, an illegal drug that is popular in the club scene may offer hope for veterans suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder, otherwise known as PTSD. The federal government fast-tracked a study on how MDMA, more commonly called ecstasy or molly, can help people with PTSD. So far, the results have been so promising the U.S. Food and Drug Administration has designated a breakthrough therapy. 
And if you were stationed in Camp Lejeune, North Carolina for at least 30 days between August 1st, 1953 and December 31st, 1987, the VA Secretary describes possible disability compensation and health care benefits available for veterans. Family members may be covered for out-of-pocket costs for certain conditions. According to a February 15 Fox News report, the thousands of U.S. military personnel and private contractors whose health was compromised by the dense black smoke of burn pits and who were then denied proper treatment may finally be vindicated by a recent court ruling. A judge under the U.S. Department of Labor Office for Workers' Compensation Programs decreed last month that open-air burn pits where chemicals were released into the air after the incineration of trash and other waste at American military bases in Iraq and Afghanistan are connected to lung disease. And there's a Medicare scam alert. The scam involves someone from Medicare will call you and say that you're getting a new card. They will say that until it comes, you will need a temporary card that costs between $5 and $50. And then they will ask for your bank information and credit card information to process the temporary card. Don't do it. It's a scam. The facts are, Medicare communicates only by mail, unless you tell them to call you. Starting on April 1st, 2018, Medicare will begin a year-long program to replace all current Medicare beneficiary cards to convert to alphanumeric ID numbers. Currently, your ID number is your Social Security number. All the new Medicare cards will come in the mail and you don't need to do anything. Your Medicare will show up. And today, the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs announced the modernization of its leasing program to better align the agency's major lease procurements with other federal agencies and the private sector, with an emphasis on increased competition cost savings and speed market. And this month is Children's Dental Health Month. And what parents need to know. Teaching children about taking care of their teeth can be challenging, but it is important to ensure a good foundation for building lifelong habits of oral hygiene and health for them as they grow up. There is a common misconception about infant and toddler's teeth being less important than adult teeth since they aren't permanent but this idea can lead to harmful conditions in a child's mouth and childhood caries. Every childhood caries is when one or more baby teeth in a child zero to six years of age has decayed, missing due to decay, or has had a filling in their mouth. Bacteria that live in our mouths cause tooth decay. The main source of food for bacteria is sugar. When the bacteria eat sugar, they produce an acid that can break down the surface of the teeth. And here's some tips you can uh, use uh, to give them a head start on oral hygiene. Take your children to early and regular dental exams. A baby's first dental appointment should be scheduled within six months of their first tooth, but no later than their first birthday. Minimize saliva sharing activities between parents and caregivers to limit bacterial inf uh, transmission. Don't put your children to bed with a bottle of milk, formula, or juice, 
The sugars in these drinks can sit on your child's teeth all night and cause decay. Limit snacking on simple carbohydrates such as cereal, crackers, cookies, white bread, and Gatorade. These have sugars that feed the cavity causing bacteria in the mouth. Brush or rinse your child's teeth after administering sugary medication. Brush your child's teeth at least twice a day with a fluoride toothpaste. Permanent teeth can also fall out due to injury. In this case, the parents should take proper measures to possibly save the tooth. Act quickly and make sure the tooth spends as little time possible outside of the mouth. Do not scrub off any dirt from the tooth because the tooth has cells on the root that are vital for the tooth to be reattached. The scrubbing can remove these cells. Gently rinse the tooth if needed and place it in the back of the tooth socket. Have your child gently bite down on a cloth to stabilize the tooth in its proper position and get to the dentist as soon as possible. If a parent is uncomfortable with any of these procedures, put the tooth in milk and get it to the dentist as soon as possible. With these tips, parents can better understand how to handle certain scenarios and potentially save their child's tooth. And that includes our news for February 26, 2018. I'm your host, Abel Santos, wishing everyone a pleasant good evening. And you can listen uh, to our next broadcast on Wednesday, February 28th at 10 p.m. Also, if you go to our website, www mulberrychristianradio.com You can check out our different uh, menus as far as upcoming events uh, some uh, sermons and Bible studies by area clergy and also uh, different uh, legal notices tax deeds notice to creditors and other things on our site. We want to personally thank uh, Bill Hedstead at the Mulberry Press whose contributions uh, to the program are invaluable as well as his assistance uh, with matters in reference to communications. And on a final note before I le uh, leave this evening if you know someone who may be in crisis, the VA's National Crisis Suicide Crisis Line is 1-800-273-8255. That's 1-800-273-TALK. They are available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days per year. It provides professional counseling to veterans, their families, members, or friends. So until next time, have a pleasant good evening.